Okay, so greetings everyone. We're going to continue with our um, course in psychological statistics. And in this part, we're going to talk about the two branches of statistics. So um, statistics has two main branches. We have what we call descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. And I believe without even um, seeing their full definition, we can somehow try to guess or get the etym etymology of those words right here. Um, you know, the root word of the word descriptive um, tends to be described. So when we say descriptive statistics, these are the kinds of statistics where we simply describe things. We describe our data set. We are somehow um, enclosed with a given data set that we have. Therefore, we cannot describe any data set outside of that group that we have so simply we're describing it we're describing the the average score shall we say we're describing the most common um, ha um, variable there the most frequent one and such and we try to measure the variability and how the data are spread in inferential statistics the root word of this um, word inferential is to infer so, which is uh, synonymous to the word conclude, to interpret, to generalize. So, when we try to, in, to use inferential statistics, we try to infer it there. We try to generalize, and then we therefore conclude out of the given data. And what is special with this inferential statistics is we infer um, to a bigger what we call population, a bigger group of data, and we are not actually isolated with a given data set which, is, which we have. Usually we do statistics and we use a sample. A sample is a big, or rather, so, sorry, a, a sample is a small part of what we call a bigger population. So when we gather data from the sample and we make use of inferential statistics, we can apply and generalize that findings that we have from the, from the sample, using inferential statistics, we can apply that to the bigger population, which is to the bigger um, group, which is the population. So basically, that's the, the purpose of inferential statistics. In order for us to conclude, not only in the small group that we have, aka the sample, we should be able to reflect that to a bigger group of people, aka the population. So um, basically, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to get the details, here we go. So for descriptive statistics, um, it deals with organizing and summarizing observations, okay? Um, so that they are easier to comprehend, okay? So in descriptive statistics, again, we only describe, it only deals with organizing and summarizing stuff, okay? It is used to describe, you see the word here, okay, the basic features of the data, sorry, and provides simple summaries about the sample and the measure. So take note, when we provide simple summaries, that is when we conduct descriptive statistics, we are somehow, um, we cannot describe what we don't have, right? So we can only describe the sample, okay, the smaller group, okay, not the bigger one. So we can, again, from the word that I said, um, from the words that I said, we cannot describe what we don't have. So we only describe about the sample. We cannot describe the population if we, don't, if we didn't get a census. Um, from the definition of statistics, going back there, we have five important words in the definition of statistics. We have um, collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. So when we describe things, we only use the first four letters there, the first four words, when we describe statistics or when we apply descriptive statistics, we only collect, organize, present, and analyze data. Okay? We cannot interpret yet because we're only having this small group of ours. We cannot describe whatever is outside the group, so we do not, we do not interpret. So descriptive statistics only is until um, analysis. Compared to inferential statistics, where we deal with the formulation of inferences about conditions that exist in a study um, of a sample, but we're going to do with that about the population. So always remember, this is a common mistake. 
of inferential statistics, we inferential statistics, the the um, results derived from making use of inferential statistics is always about the population. It is never about the sample. We make inferences or drawing conclusions from the data, and the interpretation part of the definition of of um, statistics, I call it copy. No? Copy. So C, we collect O, organize uh, P percent A, analyze and I interpret. So the interpretation part falls in the inferential statistics. Okay, and um, again, I want to re-emphasize that I have said it a while ago that inferential statistics is always about the population. Okay, so you you will be given the data, you will extract the data from a small group which we call a sample. But when you apply inferential statistics there, um, the the results will not be only for the sample that you have, but it should always be reflected on the population of the study. So um, I rest my case right there. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.